Welcome back to the stage of history. We have good news. Soul Calibur 4 is the best entry since the original. If you're like us, you spent an embarrassing amount of time with part one, so a lot of what you see will be familiar. The level's still open with cliche platitudes. The gods have granted you a sword to cut your own path. The combos are still ridiculously over the top. Here I come! And Ivy still looks like a transsexual hooker. It's time to pay. But there are welcome changes. Namco Bandai enlisted select anime artists to create several new characters for the game. And on top of that, a handful of Star Wars characters also appear, including the apprentice character from the upcoming Star Wars The Force Unleashed. So you are what you are. Like part three, you can create a character and your options are more in-depth than ever. You can also level up each character's type skills, but be warned, if you go over to your friend's house to play, you can't simply import them with a memory card. Of course, you could play in standard mode, which levels the playing field, but in that case, why bother developing your abilities? We should mention that we're talking about the PS3 version here, and it's possible they could add the feature later on through a patch. Of course, you can use your souped-up characters online, but our experiences over the net were hit or miss. We're sure they'll get the kinks worked out, but the reality is that a game moving at Soul Calibur's speed won't work until everyone has a T1 connection. However, if you and your pal can be in the same place, this is one of the best next-gen experiences you can have. By keeping the fundamentals the same, players can focus on the new additions, huge variety of characters, and the smooth-as-silk control scheme. We should mention that the unlockables aren't nearly as hard to obtain this time. Also, the main arcade mode is shorter as well. You can beat the game just by taking on a handful of challenges. And it's a shame that there isn't anything as involving as Edge Master Mode included in the sequel. But since the meat of the game is multiplayer, it didn't bother us very much. Oh, and we should mention that the kiss-off lines are still completely nonsensical. Win. I refuse to bow to your logic. Uh, what? But by this point, that's just part of the series' offbeat charm. There's nothing like seeing your favorite characters rendered in HD. Whether it's demon puppet Yoshimitsu... Thou shalt be slain! Apologies. SM enthusiast Voldo, or even terrible Elvis impersonator Maxi. I think I'm having a nostalgiagasm. In short, this is what you've wanted the series to be since you first picked up a Dreamcast controller way back when. It's Soul Calibur and high def with a ton of new characters and the ability to make your own fighters. Oh, and Darth Vader. Stage completed. Dark side. Soul Calibur 4 gets a 4. Perfect. Out of 5. Shut up. I'll destroy you!